Hello, Mason Storm here. On yesterday's episode, we looked at making some hamburger buns. On today's episode, we're going to look at making some portobello burgers. Stay tuned to see how they're made. The trick to good portobello burgers is in the marinade. So we're going to be using garlic, specifically garlic powder, balsamic vinegar, and olive oil. These are the best portobello mushrooms I was able to find at my local store. Also got some black pepper here. This is just going to be a basic marinade. I'm going to begin by mixing together the balsamic vinegar and the olive oil. There are equal amounts. I have three tablespoons of each. Probably could have used a little bit more. Probably could have used a one third cup and that would have gave me a little bit more marinade. But it is what it is. And I got about a tablespoon of garlic powder. And a couple cranks of the black pepper. And we have ourselves a basic marinade for our portobello mushrooms. Now I'm going to be mixing it together with a fork. If you're looking to spice it up a little bit more, oregano, paprika, cayenne pepper, a lot of different spices you can add to kind of take it to the next level. And now that we have our fabulous marinade, it's time to apply it. I'm just going to be doing this on a plate and what I'm going to do is just pour it on all of them. Just like so. Now we're going to be marinating these for about half an hour. Make sure you get them all nice and covered. And then come back with a spoon later on and ladle more on top. The more you marinate it, the better it's going to taste. The more flavor you'll be able to impart into the mushrooms themselves. Applying the marinade multiple times over a longer period of time will definitely impart more flavor. So now we're going to go over to our stove top. Get our nice cast iron pan on the stove and we're going for a little bit above medium heat. I think I had my heat a little bit on the high side here. And we're just going to let our pan kind of heat up. We want it to be nice and preheated for this. And then we'll simply place our mushrooms on the pan. And then look at the clock and we're going to wait five minutes for it to cook and then we're going to flip it. Of course we got all that extra marinade left over. So I'm just going to dump it on top of the mushrooms in the current state. Portobello mushroom hamburgers are really quite good. Quite delicious. Now I'm just going to start out with doing the simple way first. As I think that's the best way to get introduced to this style of hamburger. But definitely down the road, making caramelized onions and having them with it at the same time. As well as uh, more exotic cheeses or other toppings are definitely a way to enhance this dish. Before you know it, it'll be time to flip them. Now I really struggled on flipping them with the technique I used with the standard issue flipping device. I was eventually able to get the mushrooms to submit. And I do realize that they look incredibly burnt on the top, but they're not. They didn't taste burnt at all. I think it's just the way that mushrooms kind of cook when you fry them this way. Uh, doing a lower temperature would probably alleviate some of that coloring that they received. But they didn't taste burnt and they were really quite good. It just looks that way. And so now we're going to cook them for another four or five minutes. I often think of portobello burgers as being some sort of vegetarian thing. But technically they are fungus burgers. So we're going to enjoy ourselves some fungus burgers now that these are done. Going to start out with our homemade buns that we made yesterday on our homemade hamburger bun video. And then we're going to add in our mushroom burger. Now something you can do if you want to toast your bun, I recommend buttering it before you toast it and you get a little bit better results that way. Well the other way you can do it is you can butter it then toast it then butter it again and that's kind of restaurant style. I just applied a little mayo to the top there and a little bit of mozzarella cheese for additional flavorings. Provolone would have been the preferred cheese but I didn't have any on hand at the time. And of course we need something to go with our burger so I got our twice baked potatoes that I just took up one out of the freezer reheated it and of course some carrots and now we have uh, something that looks like an actual meal. So anyway that's our mushroom burger video so let me know in the comments below how you make your mushroom burgers. And if you like my content and would like to see more of it, please like and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.